In this video, you will learn law of exponent on negative base, yung zero yung exponent, yung negative yung mismong exponent, at fraction ang exponent. Let's do number one. Zero exponent. Pero yung base natin ay negative. So this is negative 4 raised to 0. Remember this. Any number except 0, when raised to 0, that is equals to 1. Wag tayong mag-discuss regarding dito yung 0 na raised to 0 kasi even doctorate in mathematics may debate dito. So wag tayong mag-discuss dyan. Any number except 0 raised to 0 is equals to 1. Except 0 is equals to 1. So negative 4 raised to 0, this is equals to negative 1. Packet negative 1, ma'am. Remember, law of exponent on negative base. Yung nearest lang. So hindi included yung negative unless lang kung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So therefore, itong number 1, this is negative 1. While ang number 2, this is positive 1. Kasi nasa loob ng parenthesis, si negative. Bali, included siya sa ni raise ng 0. So this is equals to 1. I-double check natin using our scientific calculator. Negative 4 raised to 0, that is equals to negative 1. Now, negative 4 na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, this is negative 4. Ang negative 4 nasa loob ng parenthesis, raised to 0, and that is equals to 1. Number 3. Negative exponent. A negative exponent helps to show that a base is on the denominator. So, this is 4, negative 2. Ilagay lang natin siya sa denominator. Ang numerator natin ay lagyan natin ng 1. So, this is equals to 1 over 4 at wala na yung negative sign. The negative exponent rule tells us that a number with a negative exponent should be put to denominator and vice versa. Bali, every time makakita kayo ng exponent ay negative, katulad nito, kunin mo lang yung reciprocal. So, ang itong 4 exponent na may negative 2 na exponent, reciprocal lang ang kukunin mo. Ito ay whole number. Always yan na may 1 na denominator. Lahat ng mga whole numbers, always na may 1 na denominator. Kaya ang pagkuha ng reciprocal niyan, itong 4 na may negative 2 exponent, ilagay mo lang sa denominator, pero wala na yung negative. At ang 1 nasa numerator. Ngayon, vice versa. In case makakita kayo ng example lang, 2 over 5 na mayroong negative 2. Reciprocal lang yan. So, therefore, ito ay 5 positive 2. Bali, yung exponent mo ay wala na yung negative. So, it is, ang nirace na ito ng 2 na wala na yung negative. Tapos, itong 2 dito ay nandito na sa denominator. Then, pwede mo na siyang isolve. So, kapag negative yung exponent, ang reciprocal lang yan. Now, 4 na may exponent na negative 2. Ang reciprocal niya ay 1 over 4 squared. So, 1 over 4 squared. 4 times 4 is equals to 16. So, ang sagot dito ay 1 over 16. Next, Yung base natin na 4 na may fraction na exponent. A fractional exponent is an alternative notation for expressing powers and roots together. Para klaro lang, lagyan lang natin ng kulay-kulay. So this is 4 
yung numerator sa fraction exponent natin na 1 over yung denominator na 2. I-drawing muna natin yung radical sign natin. So, we have 4. Itong numerator dito, yan yung exponent ni 4. At dito naman si 2. So, ibig sabihin dito ay square root. Squared. In square root natin si 4 na may exponent na 1. Since 1 lang naman ang exponent, so 4 lang yan siya. So, square root of 4 is equals to 2. So, ang sagot dito ay 2. Let's take another example. 8 na may exponent na 2 over 3. Bali, 8, ang exponent niya ay 2 thirds. I-drawing muna natin yung radical sign. At yung base natin na 8 ay lagay natin sa loob. Yung numerator na 2, yan yung exponent ni 8. While yung denominator, yan yung roots natin. So this is cube root of 8 squared. So therefore, itong 8 na base natin, Yan yung radicand dito. While itong numerator natin dito, yung numerator sa exponent, yan yung exponent ni 8. Exponent sa ating radicand. While itong denominator, yung denominator natin sa exponent natin na fraction na exponent sa 8, Yan naman yung index. index. So, pwede na natin itong isolve. 8 squared is equals to 64. Cube root of 64, that is equals to 4.